Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to everybody. It's time for another Design Me Devon. We haven't done one of these in quite a while, and I thought, what better time than now? Today, we're going to be renovating a tiny little 20 by 20 fisherman's hut or shack, whatever you would like to call it. And I've decided I'm putting this in the little 20 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay. And here is that lot in question. It is called the Fisherman's Purpoise. Very clever play on words there, my darling. Um, it was so cute. I had a lot of fun doing this. I really did. I made a character and everything to move in here. Um, and I've actually put it on my legacy save file. Really, really loved it. And I didn't put the one that I made either. I put this little tiny one here because I absolutely loved it. We're gonna, I, he, when he gets a bit of money, I think I'll develop it into the one that I've already pre-made. Um, but this is by the user Money Brannon. So if you want to go and download this off the gallery, my darlings, then be my bloody guest. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The storyline is... <clears throat> Let's do an old-timey voice, shall we? And here it is. This sim, Matty, has grown up with this fish and shack, fishing with their parent, spending summer with their partner here while they were dating, and so much more. As they began a family, and thus working a nine-to-five... The shack became derelict and they never had time to visit. Now, following a difficult divorce from their partner and their children leaving home, they now hope to move into the old shack and hire Design Me Devon to renovate it into their dream fish and escape to grow Eldin. Oh, well, isn't that marvellous? I love the storyline behind that as well. It's really cute. So someone branching off on their own after a divorce... I loved that. I really did. So, guys, once again, if you want to go and download this, Money Brannon over on the gallery. Let's get in and have a look at the build, shall we? And here she is. Look at that. Isn't that just the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? I could bite it. It's that cute. You know when something's just that cute, you just really want to bite it? What is that about? What is that about? But I get that. I get that. If I see a puppy or a kitten, not a child... Um, I just want to bite it because it's that cute and I don't know what to do with myself. But look at this little like front decking area here. I really loved the fact that you didn't go and use fences on this for some reason. I don't know why. I just love the look of it without fences. And I actually kept that when I actually developed it myself. Um, and I really enjoyed what I did with it. I really did. But I love the colorways and everything. Yeah, we went a bit darker and we went a little bit more rustic with the one that I did. Um, but I love the color. I just think it suits him for this place. Look at all the little details. Little chair out here. The details in this are just great. It's perfect. Your landscaping is perfection, by the way, I must say. Um, little old bike and stuff over here. This kind of like really dilapidated fence, which I like. Um, around onto this little back porch area. You can imagine coming in from a day of fishing down there. Chucking their stuff all in here and then getting inside and washing their fishy clothes. Um, I just think it's a really lovely, well put together lot. And it just blends into this landscape perfectly you did such a great job you really really did now it's all in one room this place let's have a, let's walk in the actual door as it should be so you come in through here um and it's got a little kitchen area over onto this side here uh it has got the it hasn't really got a living room it's got just a bed really it's not got no living room so it is just a place for them to sleep i end up keeping quite a bit i keep all of the fish i keep the trophy and stuff just for like i don't know storyline purposes maybe they've really loved uh their trophy no idea um they've got their little bed here it's just the details in here i think everything is just so put together so wonderfully without being so like overcrowded and um too cluttered i know that's weird because this would be the perfect place to like clutter it up but i think you've just done enough and i, I really love it even the little details there's like scratches all up on the wall and stuff that i had to delete um yeah Great build, absolutely amazing build. And then over into just a small little bathroom in here. Now, I did keep the bathroom exactly where it was. I just redeveloped it a little bit. You won't see that in the uh, build video because for some, for some reason, I don't know why I did this. I didn't record it. Um, and I think it's because in my head, I was like, I don't like bathrooms, so I'm not recording it. Um, but yeah, I should have recorded it. Very apologetic about that, but that is what happened. So I, st I keep this as a one bedroom shack. And in my head, I was like, well, what can we do to still make it look like they kind of like repurposed and built it himself to be his own little hideaway? So what I did is put a shipping container next to it. I did a little shipping container next to it, whereas which is where I put the kitchen and also the bedroom. Um, 
and I just play around with the actual styling of the shack itself. We go for a little bit more of a brown wooden rustic vibe using lots of the new horse ranch um, pack and it really came together nicely. I also put in a little chicken coop and stuff over in this corner here. I do a little garden in this front area here um, where they can like grow loads of veg and stuff. And then I have this as like a little bit of a hangout space back here with a uh, campfire and all sorts. But it came together really nicely. It really did. But yeah, thank you so much again for um, submitting this to Design Me Devon. Don't forget, guys, if you do want to submit any of your builds, I've got plenty to go through on there. But if you do want to submit any, then use the Design Me Devon hashtag over on the gallery. But for now, we're going to flop on over and start on the speed build process. Now, as always with the Design Me Devon process, we need to do a bit of clearing up first. So I do keep quite a bit from this build. I do keep quite a bit of stuff just so because I knew that it was going to blend in and work really well with what I wanted to do to the place. But also for nostalgic reasons, maybe this um, guy who's moving in here because he's gone through a divorce and stuff. Maybe he wanted to keep some mementos of his family and things like in his shack for his new life. Um, so I do end up keeping quite a bit of stuff as well. So just to be pre-warned about that, my darlings. We do change a bit of the landscaping as well. I, I get rid of quite a bit because I knew I was going to be extending out the side here with the shipping container in question. Um, I had to get rid of like a bit of the landscaping there, but I kept most of the landscaping exactly as it was. Just in the areas that I wasn't using for other things like the garden, blah, 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 all of that kind of good stuff. Um, but this is me going around just deciding what I want to actually keep. Uh, but yeah, very short one today. This is only going to be about 13 minutes long, but um, it was a really easy and short build to do. The next um, design me, Devon, I really, there's a man manor house that I've had my eye on the gallery for quite some time. Is it in my favourites um, at the minute? So I think we're going to be tackling a bit of a bigger design me, Devon next time. So be on the looks out for that in the next few weeks or whenever it shall be coming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing a Plumbella's Build Challenge again. Um, we're going to be, uh, yeah, that came out um, interesting. That's all I'm going to say. So join me for that tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, what was that laugh anyway? Stop it right now. Shipping container. So this is going to be the shipping container where, as I said, I'm going to be housing the bedroom, but also the kitchen. I extend out the kitchen a little bit more longer. And make it a little bit more bigger didn't do any kind of dining space because i was thinking about only like a single sim living here and the sim that i downloaded off the gallery was a loner as well i thought he could just eat the, his dinner in front of the fire in an armchair that's what i ended up doing i extended out this little porch area here i thought having a lovely little uh porch area towards the back would be nice and i put some rocking chairs and stuff up there uh, so because the view from this lot, I love the view from this lot because it just looks straight down onto the beach and yeah, very much for that indeed. Very much for that indeed. So this is the wallpaper that we take, we go for. We're going, we, we are darkening down this lot um, quite nicely and I didn't want it to look too, I wanted a reclaimed wood, like, like reclaimed wood rather than this shack had been here for quite a while. So by doing that, I changed the windows and I made the windows look like they've been, kind of been newly added, but they were still kind of giving off that rustic theme. And I go for the windows from Snowy Escape as well, and it just really works. Change the roof tile. Uh, change the roof tile as well. We go for the um, the slate that came with the horse ranch pack as well, uh, just because I thought it fit in a little bit better with the idea that I had in my head. And there you go. Look, I just think it fits in a little bit better with the look and the vibe that I wanted to go for for this place. But the footprint of the actual shack itself stayed exactly the same. I just added on a little extra um, bit of room by doing a little shipping container. And I really like it. It came out nice. I tried a few windows as well. I tried a few windows with the shipping container. But we end up going for these ones here from the Moschino pack because they fit in with the Snowy Escape windows quite nicely. Um, and yeah, I was vibing with it. I was really vibing with it. And it was fun to play around in. I played for a good hour in this place. It just, I don't know where that hour went. I was like, oh my God, I've been playing for a while. I was fishing, I was cooking and I made this pet friendly as well. So if, I reckon he would have had a dog. He would have had a dog. Um, ignore the window that I put too low at the minute. I do sort that out. I, yeah, I put in like, I think I put in three dog beds just in case he wanted to sleep in some different areas of the house. It, or two. I can't remember. I think I did two or three. Two or three. And it really worked. I do love it. Yes, I do. And this, my loves, is... 
uh, the little fenced in garden area. If this guy has moved into this little shack, I'd imagine he'd want somewhere to like grow his own fruit and veg and stuff. Maybe you could be self sustainable in this lot as well. I don't think you could be off grid because I think I use a few off um, non off grid items in it, but you guys could sort that out if you wanted to and do a little bit of an off grid moment. I sort out this layout. The layout wasn't working for me. Um, of these planters you'll see that a little bit further on but yeah very nice and it i didn't as i said i did enjoy doing this i always enjoy renovating your builds i really do um what are we doing here oh we're putting in a chimney breast we are putting in a chimney breast because i really wanted to have like a little wood burner in, um on the in the actual interior so i use the amazing brick that is from the horse ranch pack i'm still not over the pack i'm still using all of the build stuff all the time at the minute and um, because it's new for one i tried that chimney i was like aiden no that is far too big so i go for that smaller one and just wrap it up in a half wall uh but yeah that stone is as i said my favorite stone in the game now i'm going to be using it everywhere so you're going to be sick to death with me using it everywhere but to that i will say i don't care okay um but yeah gorgeous and then around to the back here, I knew I had to clean up all of this uh, landscaping because I wanted to add, as I said, a little bit more of an area where you could hang out at the back here. So I do a campfire, I do a barbecue, I do a little picnic table out the back as well. And I put in a little chicken coop out here as well so he can collect his own eggs and look after chickens. So he's got chickens and a dog and he lives in a little shack by the sea. That sounds amazing as far as I'm concerned. Front uh, porch area. Still wanted somewhere where you can come and hang out, but I wanted it to have that rustic kind of vibe still. So I'm reusing a few of the objects that are already here, like this crate and stuff. But I also put in some of my new like pieces just to make it look nicer. And then at the back here, I go for a couple of rocking chairs just in case he has a fancy person on the side and he wants to invite them over. There's an, there's an extra seat out here so they can watch the ocean. Um, of an evening watch the sunset i put up the uh telescope on top here in the beginning um but it doesn't work up there so i actually move it down to the campfire um yeah it just wasn't working there sadly and it proved to be a little bit difficult for them to go and sit on the rocking chairs for some reason i don't know if it was the dog bed or what but i had to change that and i did i absolutely changed it and it did work it worked quite nicely afterwards as well still using a lot of the kind of like fishing items around it as well just to give that feeling of it being a little fisherman's fisherman's house shall we say and this is where i put in the little chicken coop as well it just fit in perfectly over on this side i did toy with the idea of having a a little tiny stable off to this idea for a horse but i was just like now do you know what he, being a fisherman you would not have time to look after a horse horses need a lot of attention and looking after um if you're going to be out on the seas fishing every day I can't say that you would have the time for it. I mean, somebody out there might, but for my storyline, not today. Not today at all. But yeah, anyway, go. I'll go for some solar panels as well. And it does bring the bills down in this house quite nicely. It, could, it was too big to make it into a tiny home. Um, and I didn't want to. That wasn't that important to me, so I didn't bother. Um, but yeah, anyway, some storage bits. Maybe that's like lots of his fish and tackle and stuff. And as I said, I do bring out a little campfire and a barbecue and a picnic table just for an area where this is utilised a bit more now. And I just do one single stool, um, which made me sad when I saw it. But, you know, he's he's happy. He's happy as Larry here by himself, bless him. Um, but yeah, very cute indeed. I just think it works really nicely here. Very nice indeed. Oh, I'm for that. What are we going for here, though? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm trying to find a little lamp, I think, for the top of the picnic table there. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. What a lovely touch that was, Aiden. Yes, it was indeed. And um, what a lovely touch indeed. <laughs> uh, next week on the channel, my loves, I'm going to be delving back into some more nostalgia. Um, and there was a very heavily um, requested cartoon um, that I'm going to be building next week. So be on the looks out for it. I'm very excited about this. Um, let's hope we can do it. Let's hope we can bloody do it. So this is me furnishing up everything now. So I've, as always, when I pre-build um, everything, I'll just pull it in and put it in the correct place where it does belong. We do a little desk. We do a little stool right by the door there. A little letter holder. Decided on giving him a laptop. I just thought having a laptop would be better rather than a desktop. Um, so we could take it out and sit outside if you wanted to and be like on the picnic table. Do you know what I mean? 
he's the he was a love outdoors sim the one that i downloaded off the gallery so it kind of made sense i was building for him and yeah very nice indeed oh little little stand there with some books i love that object one of my favorite new objects that came to the game recently is that metal kind of frame with the books in and that plant i love it but case didn't want to go for a tv in this lot so i didn't i ended up just putting a radio and stuff in here the dog collar it's a bit of a weird place to put it right next to the fire but there was nowhere else to put it really it didn't fit in that little gap where i put the letter holder and stuff so i'm not that bothered about it it's absolutely fine um uh it fit in quite nicely there so we're yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy about it. We could have put a TV up here, but I just, I saw him being a bit more of a read by the fire kind, kind of guy. So I just didn't think it fit in with the sim that I had. So that's what I did. That is exactly what I did. Um, There's where the kitchen's going up there. I actually lift the kitchen up onto a platform. Same with the bedroom as well. Just to make this hut a little bit more interesting. Um, love playing around on platforms. Platforms really, really air. Uh, I don't know. They put a little bit more personality into a build, I think. And in my head, I was like, maybe he plays the piano. He plays the guitar as well. There's one next to the rocking chair there. So maybe he's a bit of a musical sim. Sits here, writes some music about fish. And <laughs> he's got a wonderful song about a cod named Claire. And it is, it is number one at the minute. It is number one in the sims world. <laughs> Not Claire the cod. But Claire the Cod. Anyway, we're moving on very swiftly. And this is me just going up and putting memorabilia all around the house. Like he's had his postcards and his old maybe university flag and stuff. Kind of into that. Kitchen. Using the, of course, the Horse Ranch kitchen. I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the textures of the Horse Ranch stuff. I'm not. There's something about that. It just doesn't sit right with me. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've said this before. I love the objects. Don't get me wrong. I think the build and buy objects are lush but just some of the textures on it i don't know what it is i don't know if i like it or i do i'm just saying i don't mind it at the minute and i think that's where i'm gonna leave it but yeah kitchen working kitchen it's got a uh, lovely oven it's got everything that you would need it's even got a bin loves which is just astronomical for me considering how much i always forget to put stuff or put the bin into my builds but yeah anyway love that new pot pot and pan object from the horse ranch pack as well i think it yeah, it's great. I just wish there was a copper. There's a copper swatch to it. The copper on the actual pans themselves is not great. It just looks bright orange. It looks weird. Um, I wish the copper was a little bit better done. You know, they've done a good copper before with the other little like um clutter objects. That sorry, I just booped my desk. Um, there's a couple of copper pans, like a little bit of, and that is a better shade of copper than the one that's on there. That was the longest sentence I've ever said in my life. For goodness sake. Anyway, bedroom. So, double bed. You never know. You never know. Claire the fish could... Claire the cod could be... Not that, Aiden. We are not going to be saying that on the internet. I didn't say it. Anyway, you just bought it. You know where your mind went. Filth. Anyway, so, bedroom. I think this is where the video is going to end anyway because I don't show the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it is. Anyway, so bedroom. I just kept an open wardrobe moment and a couple of other pieces. Very nice indeed. You, my loves, are going to go into the before and after video now. Um, and I will be back tomorrow with another challenge video. So that's it. Leave me some lovely comments down below. And I'll see you all then. Goodbye.